Hello, this is Tally Andrews and welcome to the Asia edition of TDTV. Vietnam Southern Airport Corporation has submitted a plan to develop a new $6 billion airport serving Ho Chi Minh City and Southern Vietnam between 2020 and 2035. The first phase of the plan will see a major aviation hub capable of handling 25 million passengers and 1.2 million tonnes of cargo each year. The second phase will see a third runway and a second passenger terminal, boosting capacity to 52 million passengers and 1.5 million tonnes of cargo. Rolls-Royce has taken a lot of flack recently after Qantas and Singaporean Airlines were forced to ground their A380s due to engine trouble. Nonetheless, the aircraft engine maker has won an order worth $1.2 billion US dollars from China Eastern Airlines. The Shanghai-based carrier has purchased Trent 700 engines to power a 16 Airbus A330 aircraft and the order includes a long-term service agreement. In other news, Hong Kong is gearing up for its annual Winterfest program of events with an increased marketing push to drive visitor numbers this season. Hong Kong visitor arrivals almost surpassed last year's total with two months to spare. To sustain the growth momentum, the Tourism Board has allocated 24 million Hong Kong dollars for winter promotions in the source market. Meanwhile, Malaysian low-cost carrier Flyfy will acquire 30 Boeing 737-800 aircraft between 2011 and 2015. Six of the new B737s will be operational in 2011, with the first being put into service on the 15th of January. This will allow Firefly to launch twice daily services from its new base in Kuala Lumpur to Kota Kinabalu and Kuching. And finally, in today's news, Staywell Hospitality has commenced the international rollout of its Park Regis brand. The 390-room Park Regis Chris Kin Hotel officially opened its doors on the 2nd of November, marking Staywell's first step outside Australasia. The 203-room Park Regis Singapore will open its doors on the 16th of November, while another property is scheduled to open in Kuala Lumpur next year. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on the Asia edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow.